This is a reloaded version of the voltage operated timer video with improved footage showing setting the unit. This is a dual purpose video. One to put the information out there but two to remind me in the future of something that I didn't know a couple of days ago but I know now but won't have remembered then. This is a VLC V20 dual channel timer and voltage actuated switch and it's programmable and it's got these lovely little sockets that you can remove the connections and connect them without having to twiddle the screws anyway let's just have a brief look at various bits there's the connector and you'll notice here V plus V V1 plus V2 plus and minus that is the signal voltage so channel 1 channel 2 and the negative and then you've got the power plus and minus 12 volts in there this can go up to 99 volts 0 to 99 volts so it's very handy above that you've got the three buttons enter for entering the program and putting in the settings add for changing and set for going into the program and telling it what you want to set that's sort of a description then we've got a voltmeter but it will also show the time delay then two relays and then the output and each one that's one output that's the other and there's a, a common and a normally open and a normally closed so it's brilliant for what we want to do on wind and solar and I'll invite viewers to leave a message to say what applications you think you could use this for and that will be interesting so let's just go into the pro oh before we go any further what we have here is the power goes to let's just scroll out a bit a 12 volt battery and we've got a variable power supply there that is just slightly hiccupy but it'll do the job ish and that goes to the negative to the negative and V1 and V2 I've actually joined together so it's the variable positive that goes into there at the moment although they could come from totally different signal sources right that at the moment is volts see it going up so we have a naught and then the volt the variable volt voltage at the moment okay so if we press enter and hold for a couple of seconds that says P5 which is program 5 so let's just look at the programs here's the programs or modes and it's really important when you're buying one of these to check out these programs because the, the you can get items that look identical but have a different set of programs so just really focus on it having said that the descriptions are somewhat vague but this is the manual that they the the seller emailed me so time relay a that sets the time for a in p1 p2 for b p3 dual channel 
I've not really sorted these out. I can't seem to do much with them. But the one we're interested in is P5, which is the voltage control time relay. So let's have a look. I'm hoping we'll better see these. Let's just move the light out a bit now. So we're on variable voltage at the moment and we're in P5. So let's press enter and hold to come out of P5. Okay, now we can scroll with set P6, P1, 2, 3, like that. P1 is setting the timer. So we want to enter P1. Okay, and the timer runs as soon as you enter it. Don't know why. I'm just going to let it finish. Now, if you want to set P1, you press set. There we are. Timer 1. T1. Okay, if you just press add now, see, it switches off. Press add again and it switches on. Press set. And we've got it set at 7 seconds, which is, just for demonstration purposes, fine. So what we're going to do is press set and scroll through this. Right, 7 is um, flashing. And if you wanted to, you could adjust that just by pressing add. See, 8, 9, naught. It doesn't go backwards. We're going to put it back to 7. Timer 2 is off, and I'm happy with that, so we'll press enter. Okay, now we're going to come out of that P1 setting. Press enter and hold. But don't press it for too long or else it goes into set to that factory default. Anyway, moving out of P1. P5. Enter P5. Okay, we've got A and we're on variable voltage again. Now I'm just going to move the, I'm going to zoom out a bit so we can just about see the buttons and there's these LEDs up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see those. Now on P5 what you can do is you're setting the voltages at which the relay will pull in. So let's set. So this is the high for channel 1 or channel A, relay A. And this is the high setting, high voltage uh, at which the relay will switch on. So we want to scroll along. I've set it at 12 volts. I'm quite happy with that for demonstration purposes. This is the low. I've set it at 11.8. That's very close to the high. But the reason there is a reason for that and it will be apparent a bit later on. So let's scroll through this. That's calibrate. That's calibrate the switching around the voltage that you've set. So we can just press add and as you can see it goes one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes into minus. So it's like minus two point minus point two of a volt before the figure that you've set for the high. Okay. 
I'm happy with that. So we need to then move along to set. And this is A. Now this is setting the way that the the default for the relay. So we're pressing add just to show you. Naught is when the relay comes on it will switch off on either the timer or the voltage. So if the voltage doesn't drop very much then when when the relay is on the voltage doesn't drop very much the signal voltage then the relay will drop out on the timer but for the system to reset itself the voltage must go below the low voltage setting but if you have the two voltages fairly close together it will just switch off on the voltage setting and you might get hysteresis bouncing backwards and forwards between on and off that's for naught for one it swaps the relay action over so when it was off it's now on and when it's on it's now off and number two which is an important one is that it will only switch off on the timer so now hopefully it makes sense that we've got the high and the low very close together because it only switches off on the timer but in a wind and solar situ situation like I'm planning to use this for the voltage will naturally drop so uh, but because we're just running it on the timer that means there's no hysteresis or anything like that i.e. bouncing between on and off so we're happy with two so we go to set and this is channel two so I've set the high at 15 volts scroll through that this is the low on channel two I've set it at 12.5 actually I'm going to change that thirteen point five this is the calibration and now we've got B I've got it on naught so it will switch off on the voltage and if you remember in channel one we had timer 2 switched off so this will only operate on voltage so we've got B as naught, and we're back to variable voltage so let's see what happens now this power supply is a little bit jerky it goes up alright but doesn't want to come down so smoothly so let's go up there it's gone over 12 so it's come on so we we'll go down slowly and it seems to um, this seems to come on whether you go up to the voltage or down to the voltage if the time is off so it's go on, gone off because we've gone below the low as well so it will reset and we've gone above 15 and the other ones come on now the reset on see it just don't want to go down smoothly so we're below 9 and we come up Twelve point one. There it is. 